Joe Illick from Fort Worth Opera. Last summer, we performed at our festival, Porgy and Bess by George Gershwin. We had a sensational cast. Thomas Cannon sang Porgy, Indira Mahajan sang Bess, Karen Slack sang Serena. Porgy and Bess takes place almost 100 years ago in a small African-American community called Catfish Row off the coast of South Carolina. Porgy, the hero, is a cripple. He can't move around without help. And in the very first scene of the opera, he tells his friends that a cripple is never permitted by God to have love. He says nighttime, daytime, he's got to travel that lonesome road. Nighttime, daytime, he got to travel that lonesome road. But like in most great operas, Porgy and Bess is about profound human transformation. And an extraordinary thing happens. C P Porgy, the cripple, meets Bess, the drug addict. And Porgy, who has never met a woman in his life, falls deeply in love with Bess, who has had a lot of men but not had a lot of love. They support each other in unimaginable ways, and pretty soon their whole community is commenting on how greatly changed both of them have become because of their love. At the beginning of a love duet that they sing, the orchestra plays a memory of the nighttime daytime, but it's not a lonely song anymore. beautiful cello solo lets us know just how different things are now. Porgy sings to Bess. Bess, you is my woman now. You is, you is. And you must laugh and sing and dance for two instead of one. answers even more ecstatically and they pour out their hearts to each other. Tragically, this love does not last. Bess, while Porgy is away testifying in court, is tricked. She's tricked by the drug dealer Sportin' Life, who convinces her that Porgy might not be coming back for years. Maybe he'll be lynched and never come back at all. And Bess, in desperation, goes back to Happy Dust and accompanies Sportin' Life to New York. When Porgy comes back and learns that Bess is gone, the only thing on his mind is being reunited with her. And even though everyone in his community says, Porgy, you can't walk and New York is over a thousand miles away, Porgy only wants that one thing that makes him complete. And he sings, oh Lord, it's a long, long way, but you'll be there to take my hand. Oh Lord. I'm on my way, I'm on my way to a heavenly land. Oh, it's a long, long way, but you'll be there to take my hand. has the faith to go to New York, and I believe that he ultimately finds Bess, just the way all of us are always looking for that love, that whatever is most important to us in life. I want to tell you a quick story. 
1935, Porgy and Bess had its world premiere in New York City and it ran for 124 performances. I don't think any other opera has ever had an opening run of 124 performances. It went to Washington, D.C. Uh, this was before the Kennedy Center. And the theater there said, we'll show Porgy and Bess, but only white people can buy tickets. The cast of Porgy and Bess were desolate about this, and the Porgy, Todd Duncan, and the Bess, Ann Brown, whom Gershwin had taken to be his Bess as a 23-year-old graduate student at Juilliard, wrote to Eleanor Roosevelt. And Eleanor Roosevelt contacted the Kennedy Center. Sure enough, and a few days later, Porgy and Bess opened with everybody in America being able to buy tickets. These are hard times, I just want to say, we all have the ability to support each other to be the best we can be. We may not have the amount of influence that Eleanor Roosevelt had, but we have the heart and the mind and the spirit to bring this world to the place that we most want it. So I am with all of you, supporting all of you, and what can I say? Mm -hmm.